All right, y'all, I'm Matt coming to Arm Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a country that we haven't checked out previously, and that is Algeria. So this video is titled Algerian Special Forces, but um, from what was told to me, this is the Algerian Special Security Division, which I guess kind of falls underneath like their national police force. Uh, and this is kind of like the, the boot camp for it, if you will. So it's about nine minutes long. It's not the best quality, I will say that, as far as like the, the video quality, but it does look like it gives us a pretty interesting kind of rundown as to what these guys go through. And just from what I've seen kind of clicking through it, um, it does not look pleasant. <laughs> I'll just say that right now. And I gotta say, just from, again, you, you guys will kind of see it, but clicking through it, the guys that are trying out or, or whatever, trying to get into this unit, Look like they're in some pretty solid shape and they're still not having a great time. So should be interesting. Again, if you guys have anything else to add to this video, maybe some background or what these guys have done, then let me know down in the comments section. But should be an interesting insight, at least into some of the in-processing that these guys have to go through. So let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, just physically beating the shit out of this dude. What is he, is he swiping with a weapon? And if, <laughs> just listening to it, I mean, it sounds um pretty windy and it doesn't look terribly warm. So Algeria is in Northern Africa. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I think it's kind of Arabic and, and French influenced, but that's pretty much all I know about it. Yeah, those dudes just getting kicked around. And he looks exhausted. He's trying to fight back, but what can he do? Again, these guys, like, they're, they look pretty jacked. And there's really no telling how much stuff they've gone through up to this point. Oh, dude. They're, <laughs> like, they're low-key drowning him. This is Jack. Okay. Dude. I'm not like a huge fan of the water. Like I'm comfortable enough in it. But like when someone's on my back and someone's splashing my face, I'm going to start getting like, that's where just like the primal strength just starts coming out. But again, I don't know what these guys have gone through. I don't know if there's a whole lot left in the reserves. That looks rough. Oh, jeez. I don't know, it's like these guys, these guys are taking it personal. Even like the instructors look like they're tired of just beating them. Okay, so what do I think about this kind of stuff? Um, I think there's definitely a time and a place and there's definitely certain units for sure that, you know, th this kind of stuff is just really just to kind of elevate it to the next level to really test people and to kind of test their resolve. But doing this with people, I mean, it, it seems like pretty self-identified members of the units and they're kind of like just really tearing you down and beating the crap out of you. And I mean, you have the ability, I guess, to kind of fight back, but I mean, it, it's not necessarily going to be fair for you. It's not meant to be fair. But yeah, it's, it's a bit demeaning. So I, I think these guys will be fine. They kind of probably understood what they were going through. And, you know, they're, they're going to get over it. But yeah, it definitely does feel like crap. And it's going to definitely just rub these guys the wrong way. They're going to kind of remember it. Uh, and again, it looks like some of this, not necessarily taking it too personal, but some people really are kind of taking it pretty far, just coming behind and getting him in a chokehold. I got beat in Marine Corps boot camp a couple of times, like hit. I wouldn't say beat, that seems like more of a prolonged thing, but I got hit in Marine Corps boot camp. But it wasn't like someone coming from behind and chokehold slamming me. <laughs> or punching my head. Oh, they're just in a ring. Yeah, look. Jeez. There's a lot of them. And those look like some pretty light gloves, man. You're probably feeling those. 
there's just like casual fires going on in the background. Dude, these guys look so exhausted. Okay. I'm glad he wasn't wearing anything flammable. Bro, he went like right through that. You know he felt like <laughs> something something singed there. So I see there. Yeah, I was about to say he's holding an AK. I thought I heard some bursts before as well. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like, oh sweet, I'm finally done. Somebody just yanks your head back. Oh, dude, his nose is leaking, man. Again, like, these guys look like they're in pretty great shape. I imagine they're kind of asking him, like, if he still wants to be there or something, or why is he messing up. Oh, well. There we go, he's getting some... Is that like attitude? I can't really tell. Oh, he's holding a log. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I don't know if he's, he's if he's getting like, given like a little bit of attitude back, but I mean, shit, at this point, I would be. I mean, I'd be freaking fed up, <laughs> especially if I'm just standing there holding a massive log. He's just holding it by himself? Good grief, yeah, okay. I wish I knew what they were saying. Jeez. I wonder how long they've been at it. I mean, like, the levels of physical exertion we're seeing is, like, not just physical exertion. It looks like probably some sleep deprivation, probably a little bit of starvation, where your body literally just can't summon any kind of strength. Like, the way that they're walking around, it's like kind of just zombies being forced to kind of still push through it. So, I, yeah, I don't know how long their process is. Imagine this, this stuff is usually in the beginning to kind of really weed people out and kind of get them, you know, mentally struggling in the beginning. But yeah, I don't know. It seems like they have kind of been at it for a little bit already. These, just casual massive fires in the background. Damn. That's pretty impressive though, still. That looks like a very awkward obstacle to pull yourself up on. I and mean, you don't have like any any wall to kick off of or anything. At least the rope's got knots in it. Jeez. <laughs> He's like, oh, sweet. Easy obstacle. Dude. Oh my. Oh, dude, I felt that right there. The level of exertion right here where you, you take like a jump and like, you know, your legs aren't going to really support your body if you bend your knees. So you kind of just like lock your knees to <laughs> keep yourself upright. <laughs> dude, the struggle. Golly. Good grief. What is, what's with all the fires? Man. It, oh, is he done? Are they done? No, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. I'm fighting. Nice. Looks like pretty practical martial arts at least. Sometimes the martial arts we see are pretty, pretty wild. Golly. Core strength. <laughs> Jeez. Huh? 
Damn, that was smooth. It's kind of interesting to see that they're using that in combination with like apprehension or, you know, detaining somebody. I think that makes a little bit more sense as opposed to like a lot of times when you see these tactics, it's kind of in regards to, you know, there's like a sentry and, it, you know, you're kind of doing like a commando style takedown. Really not that pertinent in modern times but when you're talking about like a police force trying to detain somebody, you know, just trying to be really quick and, you know, not trying to get a whole lot of resistance. Seems like a pretty good way to approach that. More reasonable than kind of like the sentry takedowns and stuff. Tournament, okay. Okay, I mean, some pretty more advanced movements. Some, mm, not like totally practical, but for the most part, most of this looks pretty legit. Alright, damn. That was pretty smooth. Considering Kano. Okay, the combat roll mm, lost me there. Never uh, practical, unless you guys can tell me otherwise. But I've never seen, I've never seen a practical use for a combat roll like that. What was that? I mean, they did a smooth. I saw it. Okay. What was going on there? Maybe that's just like an exercise or something. <laughs> Test the marksmanship. Okay. A little ballistic shield action. Oh my gosh. Looks like a giant just steel plate. Would not want to be the one carrying that thing. When it catches rounds or otherwise, seems like it's probably going to be like 30 pounds. Okay. <laughs> the dogs. Nice. All right. Pretty good volumes of action there, I guess. Huh. I wonder what these guys' jurisdiction is, because we're kind of seeing like a pretty wide skill set here. As far as vehicle apprehension, using ballistic shields, canines. Explosive breaching, flashbangs, and whatnot. So I would imagine more of kind of like a general counterterrorism unit. Oh, even the bus tactics. All right. Yeah, I mean their stuff looks pretty well rehearsed. Oh, dude, that's crazy. You see, <laughs> I don't know how old this video is or whatnot, but. Like you always see these crazy SWAT guys with like these trucks that are purpose built with like the staircase on the top. And these guys were literally just carrying a fucking staircase. Unless I'm seeing that wrong with that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Does that at least? Oh, dude, and that ladder looks like freaking super long as well. Okay, and some airplane stuff, dude. Okay, so, yeah, imagine kind of just more like a counterterrorism unit, not like, special police is one thing, but these guys look like they have more of like a national kind of skill set. Which, if they're under the national police, like, I'm thinking, then it makes sense. Okay, and some personal security detail, I guess, as well. Oh, and there's another video that popped up. Let's click through this real quick. It's kind of that uh, other bit we saw. Dude, those obstacles look rough. And then... <laughs> You're trying to do the obstacles. You're just getting your ass beat. Oh, they got a spec some spectators. I guess those are some of the guys trying that too. Bro. It's like you, you get past an obstacle and you don't know. 
if there's gonna be somebody waiting to beat your ass or not. Golly. Okay, well, this is kind of cool. This shows like just the general obstacle that they're going through. Jeez. Again, after seeing this, like if I was like a perpetrator or something and I was thinking about getting like a hand to hand, I would not even bother. Even if it was like me and another dude trying to take on one of them, like they would just, it would activate. They would just remember this exact moment. And they just start swinging. Again, that primal strength would just come out instantly. <laughs> and he'd be like, bro, I was not expecting that level of violence. But yeah, I think these guys can dish it out because it looks like they're kind of, that's kind of what they have to do, especially when they're that tired. And again, I didn't know how old this video actually is. I think the title said 2013 on the other one. But yeah. <laughs> Again, these guys have to go through some pretty, some pretty gnarly stuff. Um, yeah, that was one of the, with a lot of times when you see these like special police or counterterrorism police, a lot of that stuff isn't like on camera anywhere. I'm sure it happens for sure, but yeah, you don't necessarily, you don't necessarily see it like this. And these guys kind of have it front and center. There's a couple of videos already that I can see that kind of showcase it. But yeah, if you guys can provide some some context as to what their jurisdiction is, whether it be like a national kind of terrorism unit um, or otherwise, definitely let me know down in the comments section. If you guys have any real world examples of when these guys were implemented, definitely throw that down below as well. And of course, if you have any cool videos, especially like more like really up to date videos kind of showing their gear and their tactics, I'd like to check that out as well because that's always kind of cool to check out. Even if they do like, um, like a demo, sometimes they do like these open to the public kind of demonstrations for everybody to check out and be like, yeah, our, our police force is pretty badass. Kind of like a deterrence, but also kind of like a recruiting tool as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Thank you guys for, for sending me this one. Um, yeah, I, again, I didn't know a whole lot about Algeria, but seeing their police force, uh, yeah, I'm going to refrain from doing any uh, national crimes, I guess, <laughs> if I ever find myself over there for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to refrain because I don't want these guys. I don't want these guys coming after me. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if this is kind of similar to other stuff that you've seen, definitely send that my way as well. But again, kind of with, with my experience, even with the Marine Corps, again, we got hit in, you know, in boot camp. Like I had my rifle like kind of smashed into my face. I've had my head smashed into the wall. I've had someone put um, a metal ruler down my throat and stuff. Yeah, so there was that, but um, these guys are literally just getting, <laughs> like, comboed. <laughs> these guys are using, like, some martial arts on them and stuff. Like, geez, it looks pretty gnarly. But, yeah, very interesting to check out. Uh, yeah, it's always cool to kind of check out these different units from around the world because you never really know what to expect. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have anything to recommend or anything to say down in the comments, throw it down below. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys, again, for just supporting the channel in general. But that is it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.